Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel where I am playing with another sticker book. Now these sticker books are made for planners and journaling, but I couldn't resist them when I bought them. And of course, I convinced myself that one way or another, I was going to make cards with them. <laughs> so uh, let's get into it. So part two. Okay, if you missed part one, I will link that at the end of this video. Okay, so here's what I'm working with. So you get such a variety of stickers in one book and it really just depends I guess on what theme you pick up but even within themes I find that there is a very diverse selection of things to choose so um, this one was really really fun uh, I picked this up at Tuesday morning if you missed my last video I mentioned that and so some of these might not be easy to find but the idea behind the video is the same basically just finding ways to create simple cards, not put too much time into them. Now here I am bringing in a different element for this card making. Last time I used the stamp twice. This time I'm gonna use this stencil a few times. So this stencil is from Gina Kay. Uh, this is a fantastic stencil. I got a lot of use out of it for these 10 cards. When you use different color palettes or pastels, um, you're going to get an entirely different look. But because of the images I'm choosing to pop up on the front of this card, I went for super vi vibrant and bright. And so here's the reveal. Love that. Oh, it's so pretty. Especially when those primary colors start mixing and you get that green and orange. So I didn't want to waste this. I thought this was a good opportunity to spritz it down with water and put some watercolor cardstock on it to pick up anything. I wanted to get some images. I did edit the part out but I did originally place this down on the non inky side <laughs> you're not gonna get anything that way so here I have um, just a very soft very subtle background and so that's gonna be used as well I'm gonna put some foam tape here this foam tape is from Arteza and I'm just gonna make sure I pop up this image so it's nice and flush um, this image right here so the a lot of the stickers in the sticker books they're like see-through almost transparent stickers so what I do is I place them on a piece of white cardstock and then I cut that out I fussy cut that out so now you have more of a solid image and so that's what I did with this so a little inspirational you can put whatever sentiment you want on that I thought that was kind of fun if you want to send it to a crafty friend so um, and and remind a crafty friend to take time to be creative because I'm finding that if I don't do that I get crabby patty pants <laughs> So I have to make sure I make sure I lock in time for it. Okay, so here I'm going to move on to a piece of white cardstock and some of these alphabet letters, which I thought was just oodles of fun. I'm using this craft pick to pick up my letters, which was just made life so much easier when it comes to these stickers because otherwise I was fighting with my big fingers trying to get in there and pull those up. So that was a really quick way to do it so that worked out okay I'm gonna take my paper trimmer here and I'm going to just um, trim this down so I have a nice rectangle sentiment it's the fun thing about those alphabet stickers you can make whatever sentiment you want and it looks good so I was really happy about that so I just put crafty time for this one I'm gonna use this more subtle background there's a sticker in there that says hashtag goals because again we got to make time for our creativity my mom always says um, she tries to do something creative at least once a day. And I think that's just a brilliant, uh, especially if you have that kind of brain. Like this is my stress reliever. This is the part that I enjoy just putting all the other things aside because it sort of is a lot like meditation for me when basically the intent of meditation. So when I'm crafting, I can just not think about anything else. I can just be in this moment. Uh, which is really hard to do as an adult human <laughs> because I don't know how many of you have a hard time falling asleep sometimes because you have 50 things on your to-do list that you forgot to put on your to-do list. And so they all pop up right before you're supposed to go to bed. <laughs> I don't know. Just, just me? So anyway, this is a really important reminder of just make your goals crafty time. All right, so this one is uber simple. Um, I made this more of a masculine card to send to my husband, and um, I used my alphabet stickers again, so I'm just gonna show you real quick um, how what I placed down there. I just picked I Miss You for the little banner. Um, I found this book 
No, I don't think that's fair. I was going to say the other, I found it more, um, with a more variety of things, but it's not really true. All those sticker books are amazing. Also, I got them, like, I think I mentioned it Tuesday morning for, like, a quarter of the price almost of what they normally go for, and maybe that is because they are retiring, and so, um, but, boy, they're just so much fun. So I'm just going to add some hearts here to it. This card is probably the most simple looking card. It really is just, I miss you. I'm away from home. So um, yeah, it's a little map there. So I thought that was cute. Okay, let's move on to the next card. So this one, uh, probably one of my favorites in the bunch. I decided to do something with that sheet full of hearts that I had. So I started with the bigger hearts at the bottom. And I'm going to basically make it look like the hearts are cascading up um, the side of the cardstock. So it, this is really all I'm doing. I'm placing down hearts. On a side note, I will tell you, after I bought these stickers, I know I did this completely out of order. I bought the sticker books to make cards, and then I was like, well, let me buy the planner and all the things that go with the planner <laughs> to, to uh, get my life in order. I have been searching for a way to organize my life and be motivated about order, organizing my life for the longest time. I was looking into digital planners. I was looking in, I've tried multiple paper planners. And the reason none of it was working was because um, I couldn't customize the planner I wanted. Well, I came across the Happy Planner and it sold me. So um, I got the big one, like the eight and a half by 11 one, the huge one. Side note on the card, I'm adding this glue, glitter glue, which is a lot like stickles, just to add a strip down the side of the heart to add a little something for uh, this card, which I just thought was one of my favorite cards. I love it. A coffee cup and a teacup, getting together with some friends. Anyway, okay, so back to my happy planner. So the happy planner, I bought the big one, and then I was at, let's see, between Joanne Fabrics, Michaels, and Tuesday Morning, I found like inserts that were on super sale and so I went and picked those up so I have like a notes section I have a to do I have a budget planner all in one which is exactly what I wanted to do was customize my own so I am super late to the party but I am now a happy planner <laughs> I'm very excited about it so yes that's that's my new news um, also my planner weighs probably five pounds so you know there is that but it's going to get my life in order. And I'm going to get the kids involved, too. So, you know, we're going to open up that planner. We're going to talk about budget. We're going to talk about, you know, what's coming up for the month, actually make some event planning. So it's going to be a good time. I'm excited about it. And really, that's what it comes down to, is if I'm motivated to keep things in order, then I will. All right, so this card, I am doing a smushing background with some Catherine Puller inks. And seriously, this is rainbow love. I look at this. It's amazing. And these are just three of the bold primary colors that I picked, the red, blue, and yellow. And I chose this awesome uh, sticker right here, this big awesome one. And it is bold, it is beautiful, and I love it. And because I mixed those primary colors, you can see some of that purple in the background, which offsets some of this, uh, the sticker of awesome. So it kind of matches it, looks good. But to add a little something, because that's what we do, I'm going to add a white gel pen to my awesome. And that's going to give it a little shine, almost like it, it looks like a Mylar balloon, if you will. Not as much like. I'm just saying <laughs> it's not close to it, but you get what I'm saying. Okay, so now I have You Are Awesome, and we're going to keep that simple. You can add embellishments. You can add sparkles, um, whatever floats your boat and tickles your fancy. But for me, kept it simple. I um, showed Adia this one and the next card because I told her I wanted to send her a card and she chose. But I'm going to finish this card, or not this one, it's coming up. It's a rainbow card. This one, uh, very simple again. I chose this blue uh, ink here to kind of just give a soft look. This makeup brush I'm using is, uh, has the bristles of the new blender brushes that are hot on the market. Um, and it gives you this beautiful, very, very soft kind of blend. And that's all I was going for. I wasn't going for anything bold or bright. I'm going to place this sticker down here. It says Sweet Things. And I'm going to choose these um, donuts 
and this ice cream cone. And I literally just got very hungry. My stomach just rumbled. <laughs> Good thing you can't hear it. So yeah, so I'm just gonna make the sweet things. I'm gonna put them down with some liquid adhesive, keep this card super simple and easy. Um, and I thought it was fun. AJ definitely liked this one. AJ's a foodie. That kid can eat. Oh my gosh, I fear the day when he becomes a teenager and cleans out our fridge on a daily basis. I know it's coming because we got to keep him under wraps already and kind of talk to him about portion control <laughs> and what that means because he loves him some food. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next card here. I'm choosing to use this blue ink again and I am using a different stencil this time. I opted for this um, Heffy Doodle stencil. It's really fun. It's almost like a sunburst, but they're lightning bolts. So I thought that was a lot of fun. And you can build up color with these makeup brushes um, as much as you want, so it's darker in the center, and then I let it kind of fade out a little bit on the ends. So I have this now. This was AJ's card. Funny story about this sentiment. So there's a sentiment in the sticker book that says everything is awesome. And if you have kids, you may have heard that song. I think it's from the Lego movie, Everything is Awesome. Um, AJ loves that song. He has a hard time. When he was taking showers by himself going upstairs, he would get scared. And so to alleviate some of that fear, he would go upstairs and in the shower, he would sing Everything is Awesome the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Because he was scared and that calmed him down quite a bit. So um, he loves that song. I made this card for him. He thought it was cool. Um, but anyway, he got smart, and now we have um, the, I don't want to say it because all of yours are going to go off, but the Alexa in our house. And now he just asks the uh, Amazon robot to play that song for him so he doesn't have to sing it the whole time. <laughs> it's AJ. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This is a Bristol Smooth piece of cardstock, and I am pulling out my Arteza Twee markers. These are water-based markers, but with a firm tip, almost like the Tombow markers, not like a real brush pen, because it's more of a felt tip instead. Um, they work and react a lot like the real brush pens, and so what I'm gonna do is just place down some uh, a rainbow color and I'm going to take a water brush in here and I'm just going to blend those out into one another. I just want a really super fun blend um, and when you're doing this if you don't want the colors too much to mix or cross contaminate too much you want to wipe off a little bit onto the paper towel and I got this beautiful blend of colors. So I really do like those Twee markers. They're 100 to a set. I don't use them as much as I should. I think I wish if I could change anything about them that the tip on the smaller fine point was a little bit thicker. It's a really fine point, but if you're looking for one of those, that's a really fine point. All right, I pulled out this bold sticker of do your thing, hashtag hustle, which I thought was super fun and encouraging. Um, so yeah, that's super fun. I left that again a little bit plain, but certainly you can add more embellishments to that. Um, I'm not sure who I'm gonna send that to yet, if I'm gonna keep it more on the gender neutral side or if I'm going to jazz it up with some sparklies. Um, I'm, I, that's why I didn't finish that one. So, All right, we're moving back to that super fun stencil and I'm going to use um, the scrapbook.com Weeble Wobble foam, <laughs> foam um, blending tool. Um, I call it that because they don't stand up on the foam. You can flip them over though, I discovered since my last video. You can put it on the handle because it's a little flat surface, but they don't stand up on the foam because they're um, beveled on the edges. Anyway, I used that foam because I wanted a nice saturation of color quickly. And so then on the center here, I'm gonna put these sunglasses. For those of you that don't know, I am a trained optometry technician. So I love all things eyeballs and glasses. And so I thought this was super fun and I could probably send this to one of my fellow optometry technician friends. All right, so here's some close-ups of that one. Again, very simple. That's the whole idea. I don't know how many times I've said very simple <laughs> throughout this card video. I think I'm still trying to convince myself that it is okay to go simple. You know, last time, I'm just doing some ink blending here, so I'll, I'll blabber on while you watch that. But last time I posted this video, 
Um, you all were so super supportive of the idea behind it, of letting yourself be reminded of the intent behind your craft. I think that was, it was really great to hear that feedback and that that was helpful for others because it's nice. It's nice to feel not so all alone when you're in your own head. Um, I also um, was, uh, Kim reached out to me uh, for, and I'll link below her blog. And she wrote a blog about that, about getting out of your own head. And I think that that was, it was a brilliantly written blog. I love the whole idea behind it. And I loved her vulnerability of showing some of those areas that she really wants to try to work on for herself. Highly recommend reading that. Um, and just kind of realizing that it's, it's so okay to just sit down and create and stop putting the pressures on ourselves. So again, another reminder to just do that and have fun. But I was, you know, kind of old habits die hard. So when I was making these cards, I still second guessed myself. Like, is this enough? Am I doing enough with this card or whatever? And then again, just had a quick short reminder to myself. I think the conversation is getting shorter with myself on that because I am really feeling okay with that. Um, and then, you know, just creating, just having a good time and creating. And so here are the card designs that I came up with. The lot of these, so 10 cards, took me maybe 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes to make. The hardest part was coming up with how I wanted to do the layouts. That was it. But once you get going with it, it's just so simple, really. Um, so I hope this video, again, inspired you to kind of just play, pull out whatever you got, doesn't matter, and just play. It doesn't have to be the most extravagant card. It can just be whatever your mind comes up with. I do plan on doing another one of these sticker books with 10 cards, so hit subscribe if you don't want to miss that from me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the comment section. Have a great day. Bye-bye.